I want to talk about the White House press secretary and how she just absolutely slammed, you know, the bullshit question. It was absolutely hilarious. Check this out. And then I'll come back. Um, what exactly would the Inflation Reduction Act do to reduce inflation in the short term? So I, I, when you look at um, the lowering costs in particular uh, for, uh, for Americans, I think that's important when you think about how inflation uh, has uh, has increased uh, costs uh, for American Americans. If you think about the $100, uh, uh, saving about $100 per year on on premiums with ACA, uh, when you think about um, lowering costs for our seniors, capping that at 2000 a year instead of thousands and thousands of dollars a month, that lowering of, of cost uh, as we uh, as we deal with a time uh, that is uh, uh, difficult for many many Americans. Look, experts, economists have said that themselves uh, that this would uh, be uh, the Inflation Reduction Act would um, uh, uh, would would be beneficial to that 300 that extra 300 billion dollars in deficit uh, that is really important as we have uh, right now 1.7 billion uh, in deficit deduction under this administration it would it would help lower that even uh, even more which is incredibly important uh, and so look We've heard from Republicans and Democrats uh, who were uh, U.S. Uh, U.S. Treasury secretaries who said it would lower inflation. Uh, we've heard from more than 126 economists said it would lower inflation. Uh, and so I think that is uh, that is uh, also an important uh, fact that we point to uh, when we talk about the importance of the Inflation Reduction Act, the importance of lowering costs for American uh, for American families, even as you look at the energy uh, costs as well tries to undermine the Inflation Reduction Act, watch how she instantly destroys that bullshit Republican narrative and makes the reporter look stupid. So some of the savings that you're pointing to wouldn't kick in until 2024 or 2026, so is it fair to suggest to people that somehow they're going to see some inflation reduction right now while they're hurting the most? Well, that, that is actually not true. Um, uh, so just this is uh, just for some folks who, who are watching, consumers, families, and small businesses owners can head to uh, cleanenergy.gov as it relates to the energy uh, cost uh, component, the, the lowering of cost, to learn more about how they can start saving money immediately uh, thanks to the Inflation Reduction Act, tax credits, and rebates. That is real. Inflation uh, Reduction Act credits and rebates available today include a 30 percent credit to cover the cost of inst installing roof rooftop solar up to 10 percent credit to cover the cost of insulation materials and other energy efficient improvements like energy savings, windows and doors, a $300 tax credit for purchasing efficient heating and cooling equipment like a heat pump or central air conditioner, a tax credit of up to $7,500 uh, for purchasing a new electric vehicle. All of these things could happen and are available to folks. Those rebates uh, are available to folks. Those tax credits are available to folks today. I'm going to go around. I know. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Hey, I'm Zachariah, Lone Star Liberal. Y'all take it easy.